Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I don't have much time to make this video because today we are getting the announcement for Zombies Chronicles DLC 5, or at least that's what we speculate we are getting, which is probably what we are getting. And it has been leaked or revealed that we are getting a remaster map. So I was honestly wrong, which is fantastic. I love this. But this still has some questions about Easter eggs and new content, what type of uh, maps. So, well, let, let's talk about the exact maps. First of all, Nocturne Houghton Baruch Shinanuma. Amazing. Amazing. That's fantastic because now we have the entirety of World at War with the Giant, of course. We have the entirety of World at War in the Black Ops 3 engine and game with Gob Gums with three hit downs. I love it. It's so fantastic. Black Ops 1. We got Kino Der Toten, which is great. We have Ascension, Shangri-La, and Moon. That is epic. I haven't, I have never, I've never played uh, Shangri-La ever. Not even stepped foot in the map, which is so fantastic. Um, and in Black Ops 2, we get Origins. That is one of the best maps that I've heard of all time. So we will see uh, how that goes. Uh, but uh, what we didn't get was um, five. We didn't get Call of the Dead. We didn't get Mob of the Dead. We didn't get Transit, Buried, or Die Rise, or Nuketown. So there are seven maps in the entirety of Zombies history that are not going to be on Black Ops 3. And that is amazing. I think that's so fantastic. If they are remaking these maps like they did with the Giant, if they are remastering them and reimagining them, that's amazing. Now this brings up the question about Easter eggs. Everybody's wondering about Easter eggs. How are they going to implement Easter eggs? Are these going to be the same Easter eggs? Or are there going to be no Easter eggs? Because that takes a lot of uh, time and dedication and programming and coding and all that stuff. Um, but if there is new Easter eggs, then how is this going to fit in with the lore? You know, maybe that cipher that we found on Revelations, the one where Dempsey's speaking about how he hopes that Dr. Monty doesn't find them there, maybe that has something to do. Maybe this is the beginning of this big Easter egg. Maybe this is what uh, Blundell was talking about when he said that Revelations was going to bring us 18 months of content because we're going to do the, these Easter eggs in these old maps in the Zombie Chronicles, and that's going to change something on Revelations uh, that now we can complete the Easter egg there. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but it's interesting to think about. And this is also going to put a huge wrench in my works when it comes to Zombies 101 because I want to do Zombies 101 of all of these maps, but I don't know if I should play it on the Black Ops 3 version or the original versions that they played. Obviously, I already have all of the World at War, but with the Black Ops 1 and Origins, I don't know. What, what would you guys like to see? Would you guys like to see the Black Ops 3 version or the Black Ops or the original version? I guess I'm, I'll probably just wind up doing both anyway because the hype will die down when I do those guides and everything. Uh, but man, man oh man, this is going to be huge for content creators in the coming weeks and months. This is epic zombies 101 i'm excited uh, unfortunately i've been spending all my time in five because i really like five and i think i've got a really good strategy video for you guys there but that's besides the point what i want to talk about right now is unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do a reveal reaction or thoughts video today because as of right now i have 20 minutes to make this video edit this video render it and upload it to youtube i will be working from nine o'clock in the morning to about 11 o'clock at night tonight because of something i have at work so i won't be able to react in person about this new trailer that we're getting or new video that jason blundell's making i'm not entirely sure but i am sure that it's going to be fun exciting and awesome no matter what we get and i will do one of my full thoughts on it tomorrow friday I will do my best to be on Twitter, so you can follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for your constant support. We are making our way towards a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your support. And until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies morning, I will catch up with you guys later. As always, stay beautiful.